Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content and boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, man, is my final thoughts video on tomorrow night's upcoming fight on top rank with Teofimo Lopez versus Masayoshi Nakatani. And, dude, personally, I am looking forward to this fight just for the simple fact is we get to see a dude like Teofimo Lopez in action, a dude who is a very, very good prospect in the game, upcoming prospect, and this fight right here is pretty much going to be for that mandatory spot to be able to fight Richard Comey for that damn 135-pound IBF championship belt. Now, going into this damn fight, dude, you got a dude like Teofimo Lopez, who, like I said, is a great prospect. In the damn game, dude, the dude seems to have everything, really good head movement, very good footwork, very explosive, has a lot of power, very fast in that damn ring. Going up against a dude like Masayoshi Nakatani, a dude who is actually kind of a mystery in the damn game, dude. I have not really heard too much about this guy, and from the video that I've seen, I really have not seen too much video on this guy, just for the simple fact is, he is a mystery in the game he does have a couple of fights on youtube and if you do check out his fights they almost look like some damn fights that somebody recorded in the damn audience or something like that dude i'm not really sure exactly what to make of that but with the fights that i have seen of him it is really hard to be able to gauge exactly what kind of fight he will bring to a dude like Teofimo Lopez just for the simple fact is the level of competition that he has faced in those damn fights were very very subpar level competition. I mean, the competition that he faced in those fights was literally the type of competition that if Teofimo Lopez would have fought those same exact dudes, Teofimo Lopez would have probably starched those dudes in the first few rounds. So I cannot really gauge too much from a dude like Nakatani from those damn fights. The one thing that I can gauge from him is that he is a very tall opponent for that damn 135 pound weight class i think he's like 5 11 or 6 feet tall the dude really doesn't like having his hands up he really relies on a lot of head movement which he does utilize very well but at the same time from what i've gauged in his fights it looks like his reaction time in those damn fights are also pretty subpar when it comes to reaction time and especially with the level of competition that he was facing in those fights i was thinking to myself if he was facing a dude that's as fast and explosive as a Teofimo Lopez, his reaction time would have been well off and he would have definitely got rocked in those damn fights. And another thing that I really cannot gauge in his damn fights is how durable is a dude like Masayoshi Nakatani. Just for the simple fact is, like I said, from the level of competition that he has faced, you can't really see how durable was he in those damn fights. Just for the simple fact is, the level of competition that it does show in the video that he has faced did not put him in any kind of tough positions and it definitely didn't seem like the dudes that he were fighting had any kind of substantial power like a dude like Teofimo Lopez now with that being stated going into this fight if I gotta gauge these dudes particularly on their skill level on a skill for skill basis I definitely gotta go with a dude like Teofimo Lopez dude the dude definitely has more power than Masayoshi Nakatani in this damn fight. His movement is better. His defense is better. His reaction timing is better. Everything that Masayoshi Nakatani did in those fights, you could clearly see that Teofimo Lopez does everything that he does better. And going into this damn fight, I can definitely see Teofimo Lopez stopping a dude like Masayoshi Nakatani. And the only reason I'm stating that is just for the simple fact is everything that Masayoshi Nakatani Katani does, Teofimo Lopez does it better. The only thing that I was not able to gauge is how durable is a dude like Nakatani.
tiny? How can he take a punch? How tough is his chin? These are definitely factors that we will definitely find out tomorrow night when this fight does happen. But when this fight does happen, hopefully Masayoshi Nakatani makes it an interesting and entertaining fight. And hopefully he does not get blown out easily by a dude like Teofimo Lopez. And hopefully he can give his ass some rounds. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy. I swear, I swear. just wait up.